Hi, in this video I will show you how to make a bracelet. For this bracelet I will use lava stones, these black lava stones, and some metal beads. I have chosen different types of metal beads. Also use a toggle clasp. Um, besides uh, the beads uh, and the toggle clasp, I will also need some findings, and I have chosen for the end of my string these bead ends. I will also need some crimps. Two crimps and some thread. I have chosen this nylon thread, black nylon thread. Uh, now that we um, now that we have talked about the um, findings and the beads. Let's also talk about the tools. First of all, I will need some pliers and I've chosen these uh, chain nose pliers which have a, a pointed tip uh, so that I can work with small items such as those small findings. I will also need uh, a needle, a big eye beading needle. For the jump rings, I will need a jump ring opener for the thread I will need some scissors to cut the thread and I will also need the lighter in order to burn the end of the thread because it is nylon uh, the flame will melt the plastic and the knots for example will not open anymore so if you're ready let's begin with the bracelet First of all, let's talk about the uh, length of the thread. Um, I will measure around my wrist and as you can see, the length is uh, 6 inches. Let's see also in centimeters, it's about 15, 15 and a half centimeters. Therefore, I will need a thread that is longer. So let's see, I have chosen about 37 centimeters, that is about 14 inches and a, and a half. So that I can also make the knots and use the big eye beading needle. The first step is to make a knot at the end of my thread. I'll try to make a larger knot. because we use a, a bead end for the end of the cord and as you can see this bead end has this orifice here and the knot inside of this bead should be large enough so that it doesn't slip out through this I don't know if it's visible through this orifice here so as you can see the orifice is um, large enough so that a small knot would easily slip out through this hole here. So let's make the knot. If you want to make sure that the knot does not open, you can also use a pair of pliers. like this, to make sure that the knot is not opening. So let's make several knots. So 
So I think we have enough knots here. And now I will put the thread on the big eye beading needle. Like this. And I will take one of those crimps and put it on the needle this way so I have brought the crimp next to the uh, knot I will take the pliers and press on our crimp like this so as you can see I pressed on the crimp the crimp stops the uh, knot from uh, slipping and now I think like this it's more visible so as you can see the crimp blocks the knot from slipping I will cut with the scissors the end of this thread and I will use the lighter to burn the end of this thread like this and now Again, I will put the thread into the needle and I will take the bead cap and I will put the bead cap on my needle like this and as you can see Let's see from a closer distance. Now you can see that the crimp together with the knot stops the thread from slipping out of the bead cap. Now the next step will be to take the pliers, the chain nose pliers, and close the bead cap like this I've closed the bead cap I will take a jump ring and uh, now the next step is to take some jump rings so I will take one jump ring open it so I will grab it with the pliers and I will open it with the jump ring opener this way and now I will put the jump ring through my bead end let's open it a bit more let's see if it works now like this so I have put the jump ring through my bead end and now let's put the toggle clasp and close the jump ring like this and the end of our bracelet is ready now the next step 
is the simple one we simply put the beads on our thread so all we have to do is take the beads and put them one by one on our thread the only thing that we have to take into consideration is to keep the symmetry so I will put the beads one by one so I will put a metal bead then a lava stone another metal bead another lava stone Uh, now let's put the uh, metal beads that will be in the middle. Now let's put the central metal bead like this. And as you can see, we have reached the middle of our bracelet. And from this point on, we simply have to take into consideration that the beads must be symmetrical. like this so this was the last bead so our bracelet the bracelet beads are ready now and now I will put the second bead cap whenever we put the second cap bead cap we have to take into consideration that the beads must not be too compressed so we must leave a bit of thread so that the beads can move they are not fixed stuck one to each other that um, so that but they must not uh, also not be too loose because if they are too loose then we will see the thread in between the beads And now, the first step will be to take the bead cap and open it, so that we can work in the middle of the bead cap. So with the second cap, it's uh, more important to have space here, so I will try to open it as much as I can, so that I can work in the inside of the bead cap. And I will put the bead cap on my needle, like this. And I will take a crimp and also put the crimp on the needle. And now I will remove the thread from the needle and put the needle away. Let's see from a closer distance, like this. So as you can see, what do we have here? We have the crimp, we have the bead cap, which is opened and the thread and now I will take the pliers the chain nose pliers and I will press on the crimp but so that I leave a bit of space to the beads for the beads to move so they must not be too close to each other and I will press on the crimp
and now as you can see I hope that it is visible I pressed I pressed on the crimp and the crimp is pressing on the thread so that the um, it blocks the movement of our bead cap so the bead cap will stop at the point where the crimp is because the crimp has been compressed and it presses on the thread now above the crimp I will make a few knots to make sure that the crimp does not slide and does not allow the thread to the, does not allow the thread to slip out so you have to be careful this is why I opened the bead cap so that I can make the knots as close as possible to the crimp so that they are masked by the bead cap so I made one knot let's make sure that it's not opening and then I will make a few more knots So let's make one more knot. Now that we made several knots here, let's make sure that the knots are tight so that they don't open. And now I will take the scissors, cut the thread, take the lighter and burn the end of the thread like this. And now I can close the bead cap so that I cover the knot and the crimp which is inside let's take the pliers and close this bead end like this and now I will take the second jump ring And open the jump ring with the pliers and with the jump ring opener like this let's open it a bit more so hopefully it goes through the like this so it went through the bead cap I will also put the toggle clasp and close the jump ring like this so now I've closed the toggle clasp and let's close the bracelet and see what it looks like. Our finished bracelet. So this is what our finished bracelet looks like. And it le let's see also what it looks like on the wrist. So this is what the toggle clasp looks like and the bracelet. So this is the finished bracelet. I hope that you liked the video and that you know how to create a bracelet with toggle clasp and metal beads. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video.